This video will demonstrate how to clear a paper jam on your HP All-in-One printer. In the first part of this step, we'll be removing a paper jam from the back of the printer. First, remove any loose sheets of paper from the input and output trays. Next, locate the power button on the front of your HP printer. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Now, disconnect the power cord and the USB cable from the back of the printer. Always try to first clear a paper jam from the rear of the printer. Locate the rear access door on the back of the unit. Press the tab on the left side of the rear access door to release the door. Remove the door by pulling it away from the printer. Using two hands, gently and evenly pull the paper out of the rollers, being careful to avoid tearing it. If the paper tears while removing it, Check the rollers and wheels carefully and remove any pieces of torn paper that remain. If these efforts have cleared the paper jam, reattach the access door, gently pushing it forward until it snaps into place. If you must clear the paper jam from the front of your printer, follow these steps. Open the cartridge door, then slowly and gently remove any paper you see. Make sure to get all the small pieces that might have torn off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future paper jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. Don't worry if the carriage is in the way on the right or left side. We will show you how to check that area later in this video. If these efforts have cleared the paper jam, close the cartridge door and follow these steps to print a printer status report. Reconnect the power cord. Then press the power button to turn on the printer. Touch the button with a dash in the lower left corner of the control panel. Touch the right arrow button to select Tools, and then touch OK. Touch the right arrow button to select Printer Status Report, then touch OK. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You may then reconnect the USB cable and continue printing. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. With the power on, open the cartridge door. The carriage may move. If it does, wait for it to stop, usually at the center of the printer. While your printer is still on, remove the power cord from the rear of the printer. It is very important to be sure that the power cord is removed before moving the carriage by hand to protect against the risk of an electrical shock. Check the rollers and remove any loose paper or obstructions found. Move the carriage to the left side and then use a flashlight to check the far right of the inside of the printer for obstructions. Remove any paper or debris you may find. Then move the carriage to the right side and use a flashlight to check the far left of the inside of the printer for obstructions. Searching the inside of the printer with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. After removing all paper and debris found, Ensure that the carriage can move freely across the entire width of the carriage path. Then close the cartridge door. Next, follow these steps to print a printer status report. Reconnect the power cord. Then press the power button to turn on the printer. Touch the button with a dash in the lower left corner of the control panel. Touch the right arrow button to select Tools and then touch OK. Touch the right arrow button to select Printer Status Report, and then touch OK. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You may then reconnect the USB cable and continue printing. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Press the power button to turn off the printer. 
disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Locate the rear access door on the back of the unit. Press the tab on the left side of the rear access door to release the door. Remove the door by pulling it away from the printer. Dampen a lint-free cloth with bottled or distilled water. Do not use tap water, alcohol, or any other chemical cleaners as these may damage the printer. Squeeze any excess water from the cloth. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. After cleaning the rollers, allow them to dry for 15 minutes. While the rear access door is off, check the rollers on the door. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could mean the rollers aren't feeding paper and that the rear access door needs to be replaced. After the rollers have dried, reattach the rear access door, gently pushing it forward until it snaps into place. Then follow these steps to print a printer status report. Reconnect the power cord. Then press the power button to turn on the printer. Touch the button with a dash in the lower left corner of the control panel. Touch the right arrow button to select Tools and then touch OK. Touch the right arrow button to select Printer Status Report and then touch OK. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You may then reconnect the USB cable and continue printing. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Make sure the power is on. If not, press the power button to turn on the printer. Next, with the printer powered on, disconnect the power cord from the rear of the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from the wall outlet, power strip, or surge suppressor. Wait a full 15 seconds to allow the printer to reset. Then reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer and the other end directly into a wall outlet. Make sure you are not using a power strip or surge protector of any kind. Then follow these steps to print a printer status report. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Touch the button with a dash in the lower left corner of the control panel. Touch the right arrow button to select Tools and then touch OK. Touch the right arrow button to select Printer Status Report and then touch OK. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You may then reconnect the USB cable and continue printing. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.